One of the most popular rackets for professional and recreational players gets a fresh paint job and new technology. This is the Babolat Pure Drive. Babolat updates one of its most popular rackets with new FSI technology. This feature raises the sweet spot on the string bed to give players a more responsive contact zone. This racket specs out at 11.2 ounces strong, a swing weight of 316, and a four points headlight balance. First up we have Jason, now you've play tested several versions of the Pure Drive. What did you think of this update? Well it definitely feels like a Pure Drive and it plays like a Pure Drive, which is a good thing. But I think this updated version provides me with a, just a little bit more power. Um, with the FSI technology, it brings that sweet spot up uh, more closer to the tip and that's where I tend to hit most of my shots. Um, but other aspects of it, of the racket, felt very similar to the previous versions. Uh, still great access to spin that solid feel, um, it's pretty stable, so I liked it up at net. Unfortunately, the high stiffness rating that I felt in the previous versions was also felt in this one, and that was really just the one negative downside for me. Other than that, um, I think this one provides a little bit more power, and, but it still has many of the same aspects as the previous models that Pure Drive purists will still love it. Next up we have Tiffany. Now I know you like to keep some of your previous Pure Drives in your bag mm -hmm. to take out on occasion. What did you think of this 2015 version? Well, from the first swing, I could tell it was a pure drive, and just right out initially out of the gate, really new, reminded me why I love hitting with a pure drive so much. Been a while since I'd taken one out to the court, and right off the bat, I just felt at home. Ground strokes were easy to hit, so that user friendliness and the easy access to power was there. Um, like Jason, I did notice that the FSI did add a bit more power to this, so I was noticing that maybe on average, my shots were a little bit faster, even though my top end uh, shots were about the same according to our play site data that we have. Uh, one issue I did have with that extra power is that I was being a little bit more inconsistent than with my previous pure drives. The feel was there, just the added power was making me a little more inconsistent so with more time I think I could dial that in. But I really enjoyed this racket from the baseline, from at net and at uh, serve. It just really is user friendly and all around racket. Next up we have Chris. Now I know you spent a lot of time with this Babolat Pure Drive as well as the extended length version. What did you think of this? How did the two compare? Um, yeah, super easy racket to use, just like previous versions of the Pure Drive, just from all areas of the court. It's light, it's fast, uh, gives you that kind of easy access to power, so it's a good racket going from defense to offense with. Um, I did like the, uh, the update to the, uh, the string pattern, um, especially towards the tip of the racket, which is where I hit the ball, so it was a great fit for me. Got some really nice control up there, and then also um, hitting my backhand, I was really surprised on the, uh, on the play site court, tracking the spin and rotation of my back and top spin. It's pretty low. I know I hit it flat. I didn't realize I hit that flatly. It's under 1,000 RPM. And just that denser string pattern up there really gives me some control on the depth of my ball. Um, and then uh, on the slice, I actually prefer the, uh, the plus length version just because it gives me a bit more swing weight to work with and I like heavier rackets. So um, I'm also a big fan of the tour version of this racket. And I would probably weight this one up similar to that. But uh, in stock form, up at net, super light and fast. When I was approaching, I liked the net, play with it, just could really get it around the ball quick and easy. And uh, just super easy to use from all areas of the court. So uh, I'd add a little bit of weight, but even in stock form, it's a nice racket. I also play tested the Pure Drive, and I was really excited to get out on the court since I am a previous user, as I used it both in high school and in college. And when getting out on the court, I noticed like the other play testers that the sweet spot was raised which gave me a little bit more power, but I did take just a little bit of adjustment to get used to that. But once I got used to that, I felt very comfortable. It was really easy to use racket, very maneuverable, and I really do enjoy that pure drive feel. I also found great stability up at net hitting volleys as well as returning serves. For me, I didn't really have any negatives. If I had to say something, I'm not the biggest fan of the paint job uh, overall. It's a really versatile racket, and I love playing both singles and doubles with it. For more information on this racket, please check it out online at tenniswarehouse.com. Thanks for watching.